Hey guys, in this video, I will introduce you to the various ethnic groups found in Asia. I will do the regions of Asia as Asia is the largest and most diverse continent in the world. If I start to mention the whole Asian ethnic groups in this video, it will be at least an hour long. So, I decided to explain the regional Asian ethnic groups. And in this video, we will start with the Middle Eastern ethnic groups. In the anthropological classifications of race, the Middle East has one major race, which is the Caucasoid race, in which its skull produce sharp features. And the Middle Easterners are further divided into three major ethno-linguistic groups, such as the Semites, who speak Semitic languages such as Arabic, Hebrew, Aramaic, or Syriac, and modern South Arabian, and many other extinct languages such as Phoenician. And the Indo-Aryans who speak Iranian languages such as the Pashto, the Persian, the Dari, the Tajik, the Baluchis, the Kurds, and others. And the solely Armenian language, which does not belong to the Iranic branch. Together with the Uralic Altaic languages, such as Turkish and other Turkic languages such as Uzbek, Kyrgyz, and Aziris or Azerbaijani. And one minor language family which does not belong to either of the groups are the Kartvelian language, which is spoken by the people of Georgia, or the Georgians. The largest ethnic group in the Middle East are the Arabs, followed by the Turks and the Persians. And together with the Kurds, Aziris, the Jews, Assyrians, the Georgians, the Maronites, the Circassians, the Armenians, the Druze, and numerous additional minor ethnic groups forming the other sig significant population. So, the problem of viewing Middle Easterners as racially homogenous is wrong. And after finishing watching this video, you will learn how ethnic diverse the Middle East is. So, stick till the end and let me know your opinions down in the comments. The Arabs are a Semitic people whose native languages is Arabic, and they inhabit much of West Asia and North Africa. They speak Arabic with various regional dialects depending on the region, before the spread of Islam and with it the Arabic languages of the Quraysh dialect. Arab referred to any of the largely nomadic Semitic speaking people inhabiting the Arabian Peninsula, who are now known as the Khalij Arabs and the Yemenite Arabs. But in modern usage, it embraces of any of the Arabic speaking people living in the vast region from Mauritania to southwestern Iran, including the entire Maghreb and North Africa, Egypt, and Sudan, the Arabian Peninsula, and the Levant. There are three kinds of Middle Eastern Arabs, which are divided into cultural and historical identities, such as the Levantines or the Al Shami Arabs in Arabic, who live in Eastern Mediterranean or the Levant and Western Iraq. These are the people who did not identify as Arabs before the spread of Islam, and the Gulf Arabs who are divided into namely the Khalij Arabs which are all Arabs in the Gulf excluding the Yemenite Arabs, who were mostly Bedouin tribes and coastal dwellers before the discovery of oil in the Middle East. And despite the misconception, they are not the original Arabs, or as known in Arabic, the Qahtani Arabs. This title goes to the Yemenites. The Yemenite Arabs who are the inhabitants of Yemen, who had different ancient and oldest kingdom in the Gulf, before the spread of Islam, their culture is different from the Levantines and the Khalijis, and they represent all the Arabs of all nationalities if you are talking about looks. The majority of the Arabs are medium built with large almond shaped eyes, faces are oval with elevated thick arched eyebrows, almond shaped eyes, straight or curved noses, full lips, well defined jawlines and pointed chins. They also have thick, coarse facial hair and body hair, and their hair textures could be curly to wavy to straight, with various skin colors and in which majority of them are tanned skin, but the Levantines have more fair-skinned people than their Gulf counterparts. Despite the misconception about Arabs all over the Middle East, they share similar ancestry and genetically closer than previously believed as they share similar Neolithic ancestral with slight variation. Arab culture includes traditions such as poetry, calligraphy, music, dance, and cuisine, and has had a significant influence on the world in fields such as mathematics, 
sciences, and philosophy. By the way, the Arab world is diverse and dynamic with a rich history and a complex contemporary reality. And the characteristics of Arab values is generosity, as they usually show it by being courteous with each other. Some of them are most important values for Arabs are honor and loyalty. Famous Arabs include the last and final messenger of God, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Together with Ibn Khaldun, Averroes Ibn Rushd, Al-Khwarizmi, and modern Arabs such as Yasir Arafat, King Abdullah II of Jordan, Muhammad bin Salman, Saddam Hussein, Zaha Hadid, Steve Jobs, etc., etc. The Turkish people are a Turkic linguistic group predominantly living in Anatolia and northern Cyprus, but also several parts of Europe and the Middle East. The native Anatolians who were assimilated by the August Turkic tribes from the modern country of Turkmenistan in Central Asia, which conquered and migrated into modern-day Turkey, but also Azerbaijan and other parts of the Middle East, and later in the Balkans in Europe, and from the native Anatolians which were assimilated by the August tribes. Majority of the modern-day Turkish people who are genetically different to the Turkic people from Central Asia, but similar genetically to the Levantine Arabs and Greeks. But there are some Turks with mixed Turkic heritage found in the modern-day Turkey or Turkey. So the physical characteristics of the Turkish people are not so different to any Mediterranean people, in which they have olive-toned skin, brown hair, and eyes, and above average body hair. Stereotypical characteristics trait of Turkish people are that they are loyal and hospitable, obsessed with health and hygiene, and a little bit authoritarian and very direct. The Turkish people also have a rich cultural heritage that includes traditions such as music, dance, cuisine, and literature. Throughout history, the Turkish people have played a significant role in the development of the Islamic world, with the Ottoman Empire being one of the most powerful and influ influential Muslim empires in history. Today, Turkey is a modern democratic country with a diverse and dynamic society that is influenced by its unique blend of Eastern and Western culture. Famous Turkish people are Mesut Ozil, Tayyip Erdogan, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, Orhan Pamuk, Sabina Gokchen, and Nuri Demirag. The Persian people are an Indo-European ethnic group that primarily inhabit modern-day Iran, as well as parts of Central Asia and the Caucasus. The Persian people are also known as Iranian or Iranian people, and their language is Persian, also known as Farsi, which is one of the world's oldest language and is an official language in Iran, Afghanistan, and Tajikistan. The Persian people have a rich cultural heritage that includes traditions such as poetry, music, dance, and cuisine, and have significant contribution to world civilization in fields such as art, sciences, philosophy, and literature. The Persian people are typically of medium height and build with a range of skin tones from fair to olive to light brown. The majority of them have dark hair and eyes, but minorities have lighter hair colors such as brown or blonde. The nose is often a prominent feature with a straight or slightly curved bridge and a rounded or slightly bulbous tip. The eyes are typically almond shaped and can be brown, green, or hazel. The face shape can vary but is often characterized by high cheekbones and a slightly rounded jawline and their hair textures are mostly straight, wavy, and curly. They also have hairy bodies, thick eyebrows, and facial hair. And famous Iranian people are Rumi, Avicina, Shirin Neshat, Muhammad Reza Shajarian, and Maryam Mirzakhani. The Kurds are an ethnic group indigenous to the Middle East primarily inhabiting the mountainous regions of Western Asia, including parts of Turkey, Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Armenia. They are considered one of the largest ethnic groups in the world without their own state, 
and their population is estimated to be around 30 million people. The Kurdish people have a distinct culture and language, which is part of the Iranian language family. Kurdish culture is known for its rich oral tradition, including music, poetry, and storytelling, as well as its unique cuisine and traditional dress. The Kurdish physical features are similar to other Iranian people, such as the Persians, Pashtuns, and Luas, in which they are typically of medium height and build with a range of skin tones from fair to olive to light brown. They often have dark hair and eyes, although it is not uncommon to see lighter hair colors such as brown. The nose is often a prominent feature with a straight or slightly curved bridge with a slightly bulbous tip. The eyes are typically almond shaped and can be brown, hazel, or green. The face shape can vary, but is often characterized by high cheekbones and slightly rounded or square jawline. They have thick facial hair and eyebrows together with body hair, and their hair texture is similar to the Persians. Famous cards are Salahuddin al Ayyubi, Jalal Talabani, Leila Zana, and Cyrus the Great. The modern South Arabian people are the indigenous people who primarily inhabit the Southern Arabian Peninsula, including Southeastern Yemen and Southwestern Oman, and who speak one of the modern South Arabian languages such as Mehri, Shehri, Harsusi, and Sokotri. These languages are part of the South Semitic language family and are distinct from Arabic, which is the most widely spoken language in the region. And some examples of the South Semitic languages are Amharic and Tigrinians, in which I mentioned in the previous video. The modern South Arabian people have a rich cultural heritage that includes traditions such as poetry, music, dance, and cuisine, and they are known for their unique blend of Arab, African, and South Asian cultures. The region is also home to several important archaeological sites, such as the ancient city of Shabwa in Yemen and Al-Balid Archaeological Park in Oman. Sadly, their languages are all endangered and are spoken by a relatively small number of people, and efforts are being made to preserve their languages and cultural traditions and to support their communities in the face of adversity. The modern South Arabian people are typically of medium to dark skin tone, in which they are darker than their neighboring Arabs. They also have jet black hair and eyes, and sometimes have distinct facial features such as prominent nose and high cheekbones, and slightly rounded jawline. They have similar facial features to other Arabs, but they are just darker. And famous modern South Arabian people is Ahmed bin Majid. The Assyrian people are an ethnic group indigenous to the Middle East, primarily inhabiting areas of Iraq, Syria, Turkey, and Iran. They are the ancient people with a rich cultural heritage that dates back to the Assyrian Empire, which existed from the 25th century BCE to the 7th century BCE. The Assyrian people have a distinct culture and language, which is part of the Semitic language family. Assyrian culture is known for its rich oral tradition, including music, poetry, and storytelling, as well as its unique cuisine and traditional dress. The Assyrian language is also known as Syriac, is a dialect of Aramaic and is a part of the Semitic language family. It is a language that has been spoken for over 2,000 years and has played an important role in the development of Christianity as it was the liturgical language of the Syriac Orthodox Church, the Assyrian Church of the East, and the Chaldean Catholic Church. Today, the Assyrian language is primarily spoken by Assyrian people in parts of Iraq, Syria, and Turkey, and Iran. And it is also spoken by the Assyrian diaspora communities around the world, particularly in the United States, Canada, and Australia. Their physical and facial features are not that different to the Levantine Arabs, as they have medium to light skin tone, dark hair and eyes, although it's not uncommon to see lighter hair colors such as brown or blonde. And the nose is a prominent feature with a straight or slightly curved bridge and a slightly bulbous tip. And famous Assyrians are Patrick Beit David, Rabbi Yusip Bet Yosef, Rossi Malek Yonan, and Ashur Yosip. 
The Baloch people are an ethnic group primarily inhabiting the Baluchistan region, which is located in southwestern part of Pakistan, eastern Iran, and southern Afghanistan. They are considered one of the largest ethnic groups in the region with a population estimated to be around 13 million people. The Baluch people have a distinct culture and language, which is part of the Indo-Iranian language family, and the Baluch culture is known for its rich oral tradition, including music, poetry, and storytelling, as well as its unique cuisine and traditional dress. The Baluchi language has several dialects, which vary depending on the region where it is spoken. However, there is a standard written form of the language, which is based on the Sarawani dialect. The Baluch people are typical of medium to tall height, with a range of skin tones from fair to olive or light brown or medium. They often have dark hair and eyes, although it is not uncommon to see lighter hair colors such as brown. Nevertheless, they look just similar to other Iranic people. And famous Baluch people are Akhtar Mengal, Banuk Karima Baluch, Mir Gul Khan Nasir, and Akhtar Chanal Zahri. The Mizrahi Jews are a diverse group of Jews who trace their roots to the Middle East, North Africa, and parts of Asia. The term Mizrahi means Eastern in Hebrew, and it is used to distinguish Jews from this region from Ashkenazi Jews, who originated from Central and Eastern Europe. The Mizrahi Jews have a rich cultural heritage that is distinct from Ashkenazi Jewish culture. They have their own language, music, cuisine, and religious tradition which have been shaped by the cultures of these countries in which they used to live. The Mizrahi Jews have historically spoken Hebrew and many continue to do so until today. They also speak Judeo-Arabic. Judeo-Arabic is a family of Arabic dialects that have been heavily influenced by Hebrew and other Jewish languages. And it was spoken by Mizrahi Jews in North Africa and the Middle East. And the Ladino. Ladino is also known as Judeo-Spanish is a language that developed amongst Spanish Jews who were expelled from Spain in the 15th century. It was spoken by the Mizrahi Jews in the Ottoman Empire and other parts of the Mediterranean. And other languages such as Persian, Kurdish, and Aramaic are still spoken by Mizrahi Jews, particularly from those who used to live in this region. The Mizrahi Jews are darker than their European Ashkenazi Jews who have diverse range of physical features that reflect their ancestry from various regions of the Middle East, North Africa, and parts of Asia. They may have a range of skin tones from fair to olive to dark brown, and hair and eye colors can also vary widely. Facial features can also vary, but Mizrahi Jews have a prominent nose, almond-shaped eyes, and slightly rounded or square jawline. And majority of them nowadays lived in occupied Palestine, in the Zionist apartheid colonial state called Israel. The Druze are an ethno-religious group primarily inhabiting the Levant region of the Middle East, including Syria, Lebanon, Israel, and Jordan. They are considered to be a distinct cultural and religious group with a population estimated to be around 1 million people. The Druze have a unique religion and culture that sets them apart from other ethnic and religious groups in the region. Their religion is a science-centric blend of elements from various Abrahamic religions including Islam, Christianity, and Judaism as well as ancient Greek and Roman philosophy, and the Druze culture is known for its rich oral traditions including music, dance, and storytelling, as well as unique cuisine and traditional dress. The Druze are often described as an ethnic group and they have historically had close ties with the Arab people. However, the Druze do not consider themselves as Arabs, and they have their own distinct cultural and religious traditions. The Druze have also a unique language known as the Druze Arabic, which incorporates elements from Arabic, Aramaic, and other languages. Overall, ethnicity and race are complex and multifaceted concepts that are influenced by various factors including culture, religion, language, and ancestry. It is important to respect the diversity and complexity of different ethnic and cultural groups and to avoid making simplistic generalization or assumptions about people based on their race or ethnicity. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe and push the like button, and together with that let us end with hope for the region. Despite the many challenges facing the region, there are also many reasons for hope and optimism. And thank you and I will see you next time.